Hi everyone! I hope that you're having a really good day and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a Q&A video because I have not done one of these in so long. My other Q&A video that I have is unlisted and you can only watch it if you are part of my Patreon. So I will link my Patreon down below if you're interested. I also do a lot of fun stuff on there but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram and on Twitter if you would ask me some questions so I can make this video and I got a ton, so I'm really excited. I'm going to be playing the bug off while I answer these. And yeah, thank you guys so much for asking me some questions. <laughs> the first question is, how old were you when you started gaming? So I was really young, I want to say I was like maybe 9 or 10, because before I had my own gaming console, I played uh, my brother's gaming console, like the PlayStation and stuff like that, and yeah, so I was really young. <laughs> the next question is, what are your hobbies and interests? So of course I really enjoy video games and creating videos, um, I love to draw, for those of you that don't know, I super super love to draw. <laughs> one of my favorite things to do. I actually have an art channel um, where I show stuff like that and I'm going to be uploading on there a lot more. Other than that, whenever I get the chance, I really like to watch movies and read and uh, yeah. I also really enjoy chalk art. Um, that's something that I got into fairly recently. I will show some of those right now. I don't take it really seriously or anything like that. It's just a fun little thing to go do whenever you have some time to kill. The next question is, what made you really into gaming? So, I think that the fact that video games are a lot like movies and they kind of take you out of reality and place you into a situation that's just really fun. So, I like video games because it's just, I don't know, it's just nice to not have to be sitting in your own reality all the time and to be able to escape to somewhere that's like really cool like you can be a hero or you can be a villain you can go and talk to animals on Animal Crossing yeah I just think that it's really fun to be able to experience things that you wouldn't normally experience in real life besides stuff like Animal Crossing because you can do that in real life besides talking to animals of course <laughs> the next question is what year did you start playing Tomodachi Life? I started playing Tomodachi Life whenever it was first released I bought the game and um, not soon after that I sold it because back then I would sell my games whenever I was done with them and then I would buy a new one with the money that I would get from selling the game. I don't do that anymore, thank god, because <laughs> I don't have a lot of games that I used to have in the past. Um, but yeah, I ended up selling it because I wasn't really interested in it anymore and then in 2017 I started playing it again I bought a copy off of eBay and yeah, I've been playing it ever since I have like three copies of Tomodachi Life. Uh, the next question is, how many quality of life points do you have on Tomodachi Life? I have, I don't know, because I don't have my 3DS in here with me, but I will actually put a screenshot on the screen so you can see. So this next person said, um, I don't really have a personal question, but how is life treating you so far? So everything is actually really good for me right now, and I'm having a lot of fun this summer, just relaxing and um, not having to really do much and it's really nice. I've been, you know, starting doing videos again and I'm really excited to get back into the swing of things because I miss making videos so much. So yeah, I would say things are pretty good. Thank you for asking. I hope that you're doing really good too. So the next person asked, what's your job? Sorry if this sounds rude. I'm still learning English. That's not rude at all. So I own my own Etsy shop and then I have two YouTube channels and I do a lot of other things on the side. So it's like a combination of a bunch of really fun things that I really, really love and have a really deep passion for. So yeah, that's my job. <laughs> uh, the next question says, what is your favorite game on the Switch and what character is your... That's a good question. Of course, I really enjoy things like Dead by Daylight and Animal Crossing, but I really had a lot of fun playing the Resident Evil Revelations 2. I just recently finished that after having it for a really long time. I would probably say right now I really really love Overwatch again. I've been playing that like crazy and the crossplay feature is now implemented and uh, me and my boyfriend can play a lot. So I really really enjoy Overwatch even though it's not a designated Switch game. But other than that of course it's Animal Crossing because I play that a decent amount too. The next question is what made you start doing YouTube? So I started doing YouTube back in like 2000 and 
12, I think. I'm not sure if that's right. Um, but like a really long time ago because I just really loved uploading videos and editing and creating and it was just really fun. It was a fun hobby. And then, um, yeah, I just never stopped because I really, really love <laughs> creating videos and sharing stuff with you guys. And yeah, my first YouTube channel was pretty much over on my art channel. And then I um, started putting more focus on my gaming channel whenever it took off. And yeah, I just really want to go back to my art channel and start uploading videos on there because I miss it so much. I'm just trying to figure out how to properly record my... Um, iPad screen with my camera instead of just doing a like screen recording because I don't think that that's as fun <sighs> But yeah, I just do videos for fun pretty much <laughs> But yeah, I pretty much started doing YouTube videos for fun <laughs> The next question is what scenario character is your favorite? Oh boy, so I would have to say is Rilakkuma Sen Rio or is Rilakkuma Sen X? I always have a hard time remembering that. So, uh, Rilakkuma Sen X. So, I would say my favorite Sen Rio character is really a tie between the little twin stars and Cinnamon Roll. I also really like Gudetama. So, yeah, little twin stars for sure. The next question is Will you ever do more cute 3DS gameplays? And do you mean like whenever I just play my 3DS on the screen? And, or do you mean just like more 3DS games? Because yes to both. I will do yes. I will do both. I will do yes. <laughs> I will do both though. <laughs> Next question is, who is your favorite character and or OC to draw? My favorite um, OC is, uh, so my favorite OC to draw is probably Toxia. I really love drawing her, but she's just so unique. You know what I mean? Cyclops, so yeah. <laughs> the next question is, do you want to build a snowman? Heck yeah. Let's get some fake snow and build a snowman. What is your favorite art piece that you have made? So, I have trouble with this one because my art has changed so much recently. And looking back at my art, it just like reminds me how bad that I struggled to find my own style and stuff. But I would say... I, if I had to pick like a top 5 or a top 10 favorite drawings, these are what they would be. The next question is, if you weren't doing YouTube, what other jobs would you want to do? Um, I would definitely be focusing on my art career a lot more. I definitely have so much fun creating stickers and illustrations. I would have commissions open, which I plan on actually doing sometime soon. Um, yeah, art is just a huge, huge thing in my life and I love it so much. So that's definitely what I would focus on the most, being like a illustrator. Even though I'm kind of focused on not doing that right now, but that's besides the point. <laughs> the next question is, are you going to do something, <laughs> something <laughs> like where you travel to viewer islands in Animal Crossing? Um, I could totally do that. I did that once and it kind of failed. Um, and then I actually recorded a video of somebody's island and uh, edited the entire video, spent like a really long time on that video and uploaded it and then they wanted me to take it down because they weren't comfortable with their island <laughs> being on a video. So yeah, I don't, I would definitely go to dream addresses. Maybe I could do like a dream address, um, walkthrough of your favorite dream addresses and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> the next question is, do you like doing YouTube? Yes, I do. I love it so much. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. The only process that I really don't like about YouTube is the editing of the videos. It takes so long. It takes so long to edit videos. And there are so many things, like especially with my voiceovers mainly. Those are a snitch and a half. <laughs> the next question is, I don't know why, but I assume you're Canadian. Are you Canadian? <laughs> nope, I'm pure American gags, but yeah, I'm from America. <laughs> the next question is, what is your favorite meat in Tamadachi life? Ooh, good question. I would probably have to say Toxia or Little Chunk. 
um, because they are, you know, I created them, of course, and I don't know, they're just really special to me, especially Tox Toxia. I noticed, you know, uh, that she's very popular. So, yeah. <laughs> if you had to choose one 3DS game to play for a year, what will it be? So, one 3DS game for an entire year? Uh, oh my god, that's really hard. Probably... Disney Magical Kingdom 2. <laughs> I think that I could play that a lot and get a lot of fun out of that. Um, I would say I'm crossing New Leaf, but I've already played that so much that I think that I could go and play Disney Magical Kingdom. Is it Disney Magical Kingdom or Disney Magical World? I always get really confused, but I'd play that game because it's really fun and I haven't beat it yet. <laughs> the next question is, when did you first play Tomodachi Life? I first started playing whenever it was first released. The next question says, why are you so freaking cute? Like, for real, I wish I had. I can't even see the rest. I'm really sorry about that, but you're really, really nice. And I love you. <laughs> next is, who is your favorite me? Which I just said, talk to you, so go ahead and choose a little chunk this time. <laughs> and then, who are your favorite me's? So, I, of course, love Harold, Gremlin Diva, Gremlin. Any Gremlin character that I make holds a special part in my heart. Um, of course, my me, I find really special to me for some reason. Uh, who else? Trash BB. <laughs> Lonely Boy, Two-Face, uh, Petch. I, I have so many favorite me's that it's insane. The next question is, why are you so freaking cute? Like, for real, I wish I had such a cute lifestyle. That is the sweetest question ever. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that really means a lot to me. Um, I don't even know what to say. That's gonna, that's gonna make me feel too much. Just thank you. <laughs> the next question is, what was your first video game? So my first game was a Regrets game on the PlayStation 1, just the normal PlayStation. And yeah, it was so fun and so cute and I freaking love that game so much. Uh, yeah, that was my first game. The next question says, where do you normally get your clothes at? I usually get my clothes from Target. Target is like my favorite place to get clothes from. Sometimes I'll get stuff from Walmart, but yeah, for the most part I shop from Target or Hot Topic. Next question is, what is your sexuality if you're not uncomfortable saying what it is? Um, my sexuality, I am bisexual. A lot of people don't know that. I haven't come out fully, but I guess this is me coming out, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Will you do an Animal Crossing New Horizons updated island tour? Yes, I'm actually going to have a updated island tour coming out really soon. And I'm really excited because my island has changed so much. How do you come up with funny names for your memes? Is that what that says? So, I pretty much just randomly think of what the me looks like or just something really just random in my mind. And then I just go with it. I'm very weird, so <laughs> my weirdness picks for me. <laughs> Who is your favorite Animal Crossing NPC? Oh my god, definitely Lottie. I want her in New Horizons so bad, but like I don't know what they would even have her do. But I love Lottie a lot. <laughs> so the next question is, do you ever want kids? And this is something that I've like never talked about because the internet is just really weird and I've dealt with stalkers before, but like I do have a family of my own already, but I, that's all I will say to that because like I said, I've had some really just weird instances with people, which is why I don't show up, share a lot with my personal life. I don't talk a lot about my boyfriend or even my dog. Um, I've just had some really creepy and weird experiences with people, so I like to keep all of that safe and not online so yeah and i know that might surprise a lot of you but uh yeah <laughs> the next question is who is your favorite youtuber and also i love you <laughs> i love you too um my favorite youtuber is i don't have a favorite youtuber i have a lot of youtube channels that i enjoy watching but for the most part i don't have a favorite youtuber by far i do have a video a playlist of my favorite youtube videos I will link that down below if you're cu uh, curious. Those are like the type of videos that I watch. What is a random fact about you? Um, a random fact about me, let's see. A lot of people don't know this either. I was born with a heart defect. 
So yeah, I have like uh, heart problems and it's not fun sometimes. <laughs> the next question is, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good. I'm just a little sleepy. Do you like tofu? I don't know if I even said that right and I'm not sure what that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next question is, have you ever raged in a game so much that you deleted the game or quit? Yes, Dead by Daylight recently. Um, I deleted that game completely from my console and I didn't play it for a very long time. And the reason for that is, is because sometimes my internet is just really bad and um, my game will randomly shut down. And they started counting that as me leaving, which is really sucky because I like never leave games. I just think that that is bad manners, it's rude. Um, so the only time that I've ever left a game is that, like if my console shuts down from like being dead or if my internet, uh, my internet, <laughs> my internet drops and they started counting that as a penalty towards my account and I would get like three day bans and not be able to play the game. And then the last time that this happened, I literally um, got back from a ban and then my internet connection dropped as soon as I entered the game and then I went back to try to see and yeah, I was banned again for three days so I just deleted the game altogether. I just recently downloaded it so I could play some of the update and I haven't even really come into the new killer or um, the new map so <laughs> fun. I don't know if you've answered this yet but who's your favorite Sailor Scout? So my favorite Sailor Scout is definitely uh, Sailor Mars. <laughs> I really like Sailor Mars. She's just really tough. <laughs> Next is I have multiple questions. Sorry, it's okay. Um, so number one is how did you come up with your Tomodachi Life characters? Like Forever Alone and Harold and did you come up with them? So Forever Alone is actually a meme from like way back in the Ice Age days, literally. Um, it's just Forever Alone. I mean, it's a meme, so no, I didn't create that. And Harold is actually not my me. I didn't come up with him. I just made him more cute. Um, I think that I said this way back in the video whenever I started bringing Harold in, and I was like, I'm gonna make Harold wholesome. Because if you know the real Harold, he's from Vine, he's a real person. He's filthy and gross, so like, he's really bad. So no, I didn't come up with either of those. They're both like memes, pretty much. Um, my Harold's just different than the Vine Harold. He's not so bad. <laughs> the next question is, is what is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign, I'm a Cancer. I was born in July and yeah, that's my zodiac sign. <laughs> next question is, wanna be Bessies? JK, JK. Yes, I wanna be Bessies, don't kid me. Don't joke around. Um, this may be specific and niche, but is there any specific memory from Animal Crossing? that sticks out in your mind. For me, the memory that sticks out the most for uh, me is always getting a uh, Blair's photo in Wild World on the beach. Aww. I would say for me, that's, also, that's really cute. So a memory that sticks out for me the most is whenever I really started to get to know Blue Bear and then I, I don't know, I just really fell in love with her. And also a memory that I really freaking cannot stand is having Buck and Drake on my wild world island and then when, when May uh, she moved in on my path and new leaf. Memory's bad. <laughs> Next question is do you ever plan playing? Do you ever plan on including Ryan in some more videos? I mean in the future I'm not sure. I don't know. There's that one video with us and it was a crazy one. <laughs> The next question is, when do you plan on making another Dead by Daylight video? Lots of updates have come out since you last played. I've been having a love-hate, a hate-hate relationship with Dead by Daylight lately, so I haven't even played that much on my own. Um, and I don't know. I don't know when I will upload a Dead by Daylight video next. I'm trying to figure out how to make them the most interesting and not have them just me repairing a generator the entire time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Next question is, is there any games you plan on playing in the future? Uh, yes, I want to get the Colors 3D um, game that's coming out in September. It's got a little stylus pin, so 
so you can have Colors 3D on your Switch. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, the new Fiddle Frame game, <clears throat> um, Rabbids, the Mario Rabbids game, the new Pokemon games that are coming out. Um, yeah, there are a ton of games that I really, really want to play. Oh yeah, Pokemon Snap. I don't have that yet, but I really want it. <laughs> What's well, one game genre that you absolutely love at the moment? I have been kind of hopping around to very random games. I guess shooter games right now and also horror games. Uh, so Overwatch, Resident Evil, and then I'm going to be starting my Bioshock game really soon. So that's going to be really fun. <laughs> What's your absolute favorite game at the moment? Uh, my absolute favorite game at the moment? I don't really have one. Uh, yeah, I've just been playing a lot of Overwatch. So that's pretty, pretty much pretty much what I've been playing a lot of. <laughs> If I play anything throughout the day, that's what I'm playing. That or Animal Crossing. The next question is, who is your favorite Animal Crossing villager uh, of all time and any version? So my animal, so my favorite Animal Crossing villager is Blue Bear and definitely Blue Bear just all across. She's my all time favorite. Who is your favorite Tomodachi Life character? <laughs> Tip, Harold is the right answer. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just go with Harold since I've already answered this question a couple of times. He can be in the top three. <laughs> Next is, will you ever do a live stream? Uh, probably not anytime soon. It's not something that I have really had the uh, want to really do, I guess. So yeah. Do you prefer New Leaf or New Horizons? Ooh, good question. Um, New Leaf will always have a special place in my heart. But I play New Horizons way more, but overall, I mean, I think the games are very similar with the lack of dialogue and the, just the lack of personality whenever it comes to the villagers and stuff like that, and I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I prefer New Leaf definitely over New Horizons because there are more characters to interact with. <laughs> You're gonna have more things to do, you know? You even have the Tornamore Island, and you can play on the 3DS and the Switch and the mini games. Do you guys even remember that? I bet you didn't. <laughs> what color do you think best pairs with pink? Yellow. I know that that's really weird, or blue, or purple even, but I really like yellow and pink. I think it's really pretty. I know a lot of people probably think that's really weird. But yeah, I think yellow and pink look really pretty together. <laughs> the next question is, have you ever heard of Yokai Watch? Yes, I have. And I actually believe that Five Below sells Yokai Watch. I should pick it up sometime. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard of the game. I've never played it though. What was your reaction when your Tomodachi Life series sort of blew up? I was really shocked and I was so happy and just beyond grateful. Like it was the one of the most fun times of my life whenever I'm talking about my YouTube channel because it just happened so quick and it was just so much fun. I was in shock. <laughs> I've noticed you've started many Tomodachi Life trends on YouTube and a few of your videos have reached over 900k to 1 million views. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot of things uh, regarding Tomodachi Life that I think that I kind of brought back. Um, so yeah, it's kind of crazy to see that happen. This Animal Crossing game, do you think New Horizons or New Leaf are lacking whenever it comes to villager personality and dialogue? The best Animal Crossing game, in my opinion, I really, really loved Animal Crossing Wild World. And I really, really, really loved Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. That is a really underrated game, but of course, like Wild World and New Leaf is where it's really at. And but yeah, New Horizons is horrible. You'll go up to one of your villagers and they'll be like, I'm so bored today. And I'm just like, bro, <laughs> that's depressing. <laughs> Play hide and seek with me, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's really sad. I think they, they really needed to work on the actual fun part of the game, which is the villagers, instead of like so much terraforming, in my opinion. Yeah, hopefully one day we'll get some like dialogue updates. <laughs> I don't know though because they never did that for New Leaf, so I, I wouldn't count on it. Next question is, do you think Nintendo is going to release a Tomodachi Life for the Switch? I really hope they release one, but I'm not so sure if that's going to work out well. Ugh. See, this is my thing whenever it comes to Tomodachi Life on the Switch. They could definitely make it happen. Will they though? 
Uh, I would say it's a 50-50 chance. I wouldn't even say it's like a 80% chance that they would make it. I would say that's pretty much half and half that they would and that they wouldn't. The fact that they put um, Miitopia on the Switch is huge and I mean Miitopia came out a while ago so for them to put that on the Switch just recently that says a lot. I would even go for a port with updates of Tomodachi Life on the Switch. That alone would be really cool but I don't know. I don't know if they're going to to be honest. I think that not anytime soon. <laughs> so yeah those are all of the questions that I received and thank you guys so much for sending me some questions and given me some stuff to talk about. I had a lot of fun making this video and yeah it's just nice to sit down with you guys and just chat. I hope you guys enjoyed me playing the bug off. I'm gonna let the rest of that footage play because like I said I had a lot of fun with that so this video might be really long <laughs> but yeah I love you guys so much and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I love, love, love you. Bye bye. Smooch. <laughs> Then you must be on the top of 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 the